and do this beautiful P54 piccolo that I got last summer justice. Um, I'm averaging getting this out maybe once every month and a half. So it needs work. Recently I made an announcement that I'm going to be doing some affiliate videos to try to get some income in, get things going for Trumpet Champions. Now I have a couple of good ones already on my channel. Uh, they're more for homeowners in a way. Um, the um, Ghost Controls Gate Opener. Oh, let's see, the Ego Lawnmower. But the other one is for skincare, not just for men, but also for women. You might want to check that one out too. And then I discovered something that I've been procrastinating about, and I have to get it going. I have to finish it. I want you to look at the date on this right here if you can see it. You see it? Maybe it's not coming out right because I have this in selfie mode, but it says June 1st, 2019. So I started a book on flexibility almost three years ago. Right now it's uh, the beginning of April 2022. And I got several <laughs> staff paper books full of all my stuff. And it's time to pull the trigger and get this thing going. Right now I'm on page, where are we at here? 80. I thought I was on page 84. I wanted to get up to 100. So let me, that's 71. Where's 84? Oh, here's 84. So this is what I'm at currently. I'll let you see if it'll lock in there. Let's see. Page 84. And I have so many books full of my Flexibility exercises that I've been working on for what I'm going to call the Bible of trumpet flexibility. So I'm going to be coming out with a book hopefully soon, maybe in the next month or two. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing an ebook. I think ebook is probably the, the way I'm going to go, or a hardback book. In fact, why don't you leave some comments below if you would prefer just to be able to download a quick ebook. E as opposed to ordering and waiting for a hardback copy in the mail. So I'm leaning towards an ebook, and this is going to be a book all encompassing for trumpet lip flexibility. I've been doing this a long time. I've gone through all the other flexibility books, including the Earl Irons book, Schlossberg, Charles Cullen Lip Trolls, Lowell Little, and then yes, even some of the Arbans and any and other ones that um, I haven't mentioned. So if it's Related to flip flexibility, slurs, glissandos, and trills, I've already done it, I've already seen it, and I've found weaknesses in all those books, and I'm going to be patching those weaknesses um, in my book. So my book's gonna be a standalone, all-encompassing book on lip flexibility for the trumpet player, the modern trumpet player. And I'm also gonna have a section for beginners. So it's gonna be beginners, intermediate, advanced, and I'm even considering dividing the first part of that book, uh, Beginner Intermediate, into its own book. So one book will have everything, beginner through advanced. The advanced can use the beginner stuff as warm-ups. And then the other book would be more for beginner and, and intermediate. So I'm thinking about making two books out of it. Anyway, I'm saying all this to give you an update. Uh, I was really going to try to go the affiliate route. I still think that's the way to go for passive income and to provide value for people who watch what I review. And they go out and get it and, and they find value and they enjoy it and based off my recommendation. I want to do that, but I have to finish this pile of manuscript. And the other thing is, I'm not a professional arranger or, or transcriber, so I just got Sibelius and I have to study and learn how to do Sibelius. Never done it before. And so... <laughs> Uh, for those of you who have Sibelius, try to think back when you first got it. 
And so that's where I'm at. So I'm having to study um, how to actually put the notes in because I can't put this, this kind of stuff. Um, let me see if I can give you a close up. Here's, here's a whole page from, there you go. You'll be able to see that. So I can't put this in any kind of manuscript book uh, or exercise for trumpet. I, I don't think anybody would go for that. It's not really legible. So I have to take all this stuff and redo it in Sibelius so that the finished product in when it gets to you, the trumpet player, whatever your level you're at, I mean, you can actually read what I've written and understand it. And I'm going to have metronome markings and stuff like that. So yeah, this is kind of contradicting <laughs> my last update in March where I said I was going to be making a lot of these affiliate video reviews and products that I've used. I have a lot more to do on that, but I just got to pull the trigger and get this done. You saw the date, June 1st, 2019. And I've just been going slow on this, just adding some of the stuff that I've done over my life when it comes to look flexibilities on trumpet. And I have a lot that I've made up on my own. So most of what you're going to get in this book is my own creation, my own invention, invention when it comes to lip flexibility. Some of it would be a hodgepodge of some exercises that I pulled together from either the colon or the irons, maybe even Arvin's. But most of it is stuff that I've created um, on my own for myself. And I haven't found it anywhere else in any other form um, until now. Once I put it in a book and you get it, you're going to see some truly unique and creative and original exercises for a trumpet lip flexibility. So I'm Kurt Thompson. I hope you enjoyed the, the little piccolo fanfare I did at the beginning of this video. And um, every time I walk past my piccolo, I leave the case out. Every time I walk past it, which is once a day, I, it makes me a little bit sad. I just don't have the time uh, to get on that piccolo and give it what it deserves. I have had a couple of you, uh, well, mainly students, say, why don't you re-record that Vivaldi piece you did last year on the Selmer and do it on the Shoki. Uh, so I actually do think I sound 50% better, maybe 70% better on the Shoki compared to the Selmer. And so I'm, um, if you have a thought about that, leave it in the comment section if you'd like to see me do the whole Vivaldi in A flat on my new Shoki P54. I might do it because it, I already know that I sound better on the Shoki. But that takes time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it takes a lot of time to go through that, bring it back up to snuff, record it, and then put it in video form for you guys. So uh, don't expect that like next week. That might be maybe the middle of the summer. Maybe at the end of the summer I'll try to do that. And then you can have a comparison to what the Selmer Piccolo sounds like versus the Shoki P54 on both uh, on the same uh, concerto. So I'm Kurt Thompson. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You have to dig deep, but I'm confident with over 2,000 videos that I've made on this channel, Trumpet Sizzle, that you will find something of value to improve your playing. I'm Kurt Thompson. You can always go to TrumpetSizzle.com. Oh, by the way, I forgot. During the month of April 2022, I'm offering a free consultation for my top three live courses. Live meaning you work with me in real time, either by phone or by Skype audio, but in real time uh, once a week. So that would be my 16 week course for upper register, my 20 week course for comeback players, and my eight week lead trumpet course. Those are all live and you can take those with me each week and um, interact with me live in person. I'm doing a free consultation. If you're interested in one of those three courses, for the month of April only. That means we can chat in real time and you can ask me questions about the course and whether it might be appropriate for you. Obviously, if you're a fifth grader or a sixth grader and you wanna take my upper register course, that would not be appropriate for you. I have a beginning intermediate course that would be right up your alley. So, those, and then there's other questions about commitment, how much time, how much practice, all that kind of stuff that you may wanna know. What would it do for you uh, when you finish those courses with me? So send me an email, Kurt at TrumpetZizzle.com, if you're interested in getting a free consultation only this month, April 2022, about those courses. I'm Kurt Thompson. You know what to do, and I'll see you in the next one.